Hello everyone, we hope you're all doing wonderfully well. Today's valued viewer requester is Logistic Snail. Hey Cap, I wanted to suggest a video idea. Since the S60 has been added to the game, I wanted to see how effective it is in DCS when they go against low and fast flying jets as they did in NARM. Here is the size of the 57mm AA batteries that were used in the Cold War brought to you by Wikipedia. Test out the different distances and speeds of aircraft and see if they are effective in DCS as they were in NAM. Plus, I just want to see 57 mil guns blow up RC. Brackets, no offense, RC. <laughs> Smiley, for, what? Uh, yep, they know you. Great. A divisional anti aircraft regiment consisted of two AA batteries with six 57 mil guns each. The PVO Air Defense Troops AA regiments consisted of four batteries, so 24 guns together, basically. Um, let's go and get a bit of history because I'm just not familiar with this. So, 57 mil AZP S60, literally automatic aircraft gun S60, is a Soviet towed road transportable short to medium range single single-barreled anti-aircraft gun from the 50s. The gun was extensively used in the Warsaw Pact, Middle Eastern and Southeast Asian countries. In the late 40s, Soviets started to develop the 57mm anti-aircraft gun to replace the 37mm contemporaries. Three models were presented, and the winning design was made by V.G. Garbin. According to Western intelligence sources, the German prototype gun 5.5 cm Karat 58 formed the basis for the design. The Soviets were also able to study the German 5 cm Flak 41 guns that we've also got in game that have been captured following the Battle of Stalingrad. The prototype passed the field test in 1946 and was accepted into service in 1950 after minor modifications. The aircraft gun was given the name 57mm AZP S60. Garbin continued the development and fielded the Sparg version ZSU 572 in 1955, so that's the tracked version based on a T60 chassis. The fire direction device was developed from the German Lambda calculator, a uh, Commando Gerard 40. We've got that. That's a kind of director. And I wonder if Lambda has anything to do with Lambda sensor in a car. Oh, interesting. And was called the Piazzo 5A. It had also a distance measuring device called the D49. The fire direction was also made more effective by including Grom 2 10 centimeter wavelength radars to the AA batteries. Wow. Oh, I see it in the picture. Look, there it is. Yeah. Wow, I didn't know anything about this. Uh, the whole system was called the SON-9. Later on, the calculators would be changed into the more modern RPK-1 Vasa, which had been designed by M.M. Kosiktkin. The calculator and the radars which were supported by Ural 375 trucks. 57mm gun replaced 37mm divisional guns in Soviet service in the 1950s. In the mid-60s, the Soviet divisional anti-aircraft units began replacing their AA guns with missiles, SA-1, SA-2. And by the end of the 1970s, the AA guns had almost disappeared. However, they were used in many other countries. The performance of the AAA in Vietnam against low-flying aircraft led the Soviets to bring back many guns from storage to supplement the surface-to-air missiles, whose performance at low altitude was less than satisfactory. And this goes all the way to today with the Panzers. We've already done a video testing the effectiveness of the various World War II guns, the uh, various 88mm German types, the 20mm German types, the half inches, the Bofors, stuff like that. And I'll link that video in the video description. We're now going to do it for the, I guess we're going to call it the Vietnam era. So, what we've got here is, these are not realistically spaced, but it's just, just going to make it easier, I think, for testing. 24 times uh, AA S60 57mm, so the ones we've been talking about. We've got the Spark version here, which is essentially two of them mounted on the um, T60 chassis that we'll try in a separate test. And then just for a control, if you like, we've got 24, and we're just doing the numbers. They're not realistic, but we're doing the numbers to keep them scientific. We've got the uh, classic twin 23mm ZU23, although the calibre is much smaller. The 23 almost later, it's 60s onwards, and I think they're still used today. They were so successful. First, we'll try the 57mm, the S60. They are going to be shooting down. We've got a completely unrealistic, but easy to test, 16 F4Es fully loaded with bombs, and RC is guarding them. I certainly hope you don't get hit in the face by any tennis balls today, RC. I hope not. Stand by. They're actually a lot more spread out than I thought they were going to be, so this probably won't work, but we'll give it a go. Uh, in terms of the 57s, you've got 24 arranged over the uh, size of 1 mile times about 0 0.4 miles. Uh, the F4s are programmed to go at 400 feet ASL and 450 knots. Are you ready, RC? It's denying. 
Wow, look how smoky those uh, J79s are. All of the AAA today, value viewers are set to red state, so they're ready for the oncoming barrage and they're facing more or less the right direction. Me and my AAA regiment are here and waiting. Right, here they come. I see them. Oh, right, here they come. Fire! Any good yes, reactions? Yes, get ready. Tennis oh, balls are going up. Oh, one guy down. Oh, ho, 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 two guys down. Oh, wow. Oh, he took out a unit. He took out a unit with him. And a couple of GIs have just jumped out. They didn't care about me. Now, Couch, you're going into a pontoon prisoner of war camp. Still pu puckering away. Look at that. Now, that was kind of sexy. Not going to lie. Didn't write that. Oh, another parachute's just come down, RC. Still, we're still firing, you know. Wow. Now that was real boom boom. Okay, let's see the damage. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Apparently only one... One got hit. One got and hit. Right, so one and a half. One and a half then. Maybe we should change this, RC, uh, so that there's just four of them in a tight formation. Welcome back, Valid Viewers. It was a bit silly having 16 running over. Uh, the, I could see the guns were just getting confused, DCS style and like. So what we've got now is probably a more realistic flight of F4s. They're in trail at what I'd consider a realistic distance of 2.4 miles. RC will be then, when he joins in, uh, escorting them, and we'll try again with that configuration. Important DCS-based science, this is RC. Someone's got to do it. Macon River. Macon Delta. Sighting, sighting! Wake up, boys, wake up! Oh! Oh, no! That's me. Oh, we're shooting slightly short. But... Oh, oh, I think I got hit. Maybe? One down, one down, but uh, his jets in the storage, but he's not dead. Yeah. Here. I don't know if I get hit or not. I guess not. Look like I did. Surprisingly little damage. And these guys are going right over her. You're not going to get a better target in Vietnam. Alright, let them finish up. Okay, I'm going to end the test. Pausing. Okay, let's see what damage we did. We took none down. One took a direct hit. I know these are not the best damage models in the world. You don't see any damage, but he jettisoned his stuff, so he definitely was damaged by a tennis ball. And you said you got damaged, RC? I thought I got hit. No, but I think it must have been a concussion. Uh, that yeah. was um, completely ineffective, to be honest. Well, we, we put one Phantom out of, you know, he's got to go an RTB now. Um, and the others are going to carry along with the mission. And RC didn't really get damaged, but we didn't, you know, we didn't bias anything. That's how it is. Uh, I'm going to go and change the mission now, RC, to put the twin barrels in. Over the Delta. Can't see it. A lot of black smoke. There is. That, they'll do that, won't they? Oh, the boys are firing their engines up. <laughs> Coming to bomb our lovely communist paradise. There they are. Fire! I've got the shells. I'll see them. I'll see a thing. It's just not effective against these fast moving. Oh! 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 oh, 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 oh in the fan! Down. They, once they get their eye in, RC, once they get their eye in, jeez, two F4s down. What a difference that made. Oh, and the, another guy's just appeared, but he seems to have escaped. Wow. That was absolute death. Go just back in. Crossed. Bumper. And that was obliteration. We've got two that got through unscathed. 
The other two were absolutely 100% atomized, as you'll see by the piles of smoke. RCs just about survived, but look how accurate they are. That's literally a couple of feet behind your aircraft. Let's see if they can hit RC. Very good, I'm gonna uh, finish it there. I mean, you can see how effective that the low flying is. I mean, the only reason these guys are even getting a shot in is because you're directly over the head. If they were a mile left or right, you know, these guns wouldn't even get a line of sight. So that was uh, a much more carnage. Rather than one damaged, it was two completely obliterated. Now, interesting thing, let's go and try the 23 mil. Out we go. Place for your bets now, valued viewers, because I don't know what to expect. Because the first Phantom took the speed of the thing. Yeah, helos he can hide my trees, so. Here we go. And a look at the amount of lead that's going in the air with these 23s. Oh, he pulled up. He did, but I haven't told him to do anything, so it's up to him. Oh, these are going to kill me. These things are deadly. They're not giving the necessary lead. Lots of AAA in the air, but oh, yeah, get in. You're here. Oh, yeah. Oh, an F4's gone down! An F4's gone down! That was a great shot! And this one's getting absolutely pasted. Look at that, amazing work. The F4's climbed this time. Now, just to be clear, I didn't ask them to do that. They've been set the same every time. If they react differently, there's, you know, it's not a great deal I can do about it. Uh, well, I can, I can force them to, but I want to make it fair. Now, one F4 was shot down that time. Uh, and I think RC said he was damaged. Yeah, you got some. I was. You're yeah. okay. You can fly. Your radar's gone. But so the least effective was the single-barreled 57 mil. Then it was the twin-barreled 57, which were just lethal. They just obliterated you. Then we had the 23s, in which case the F4s climbed for some reason, uh, and we did about half the amount of damage, which I guess kind of fits there. Uh, there was more lead going in the air, but they weren't, you know, each hit wasn't as damaging. We've got a, uh, some results there. Why don't we go now and do it at, I don't know, 3,000 feet. 3,000 feet, 450 knots. Um, again, I'm not going to interfere with anything. I'm not going to change their logic. I've just told them to fly from here to here. If they see the tracers and they can dodge, then they'll dodge. If they can't see the tracers, then they won't dodge. I get a feeling they can't see the 57 mil tracers for some reason. Oh, yeah, I can see them all now. This time we've got a much better line of sight. We can see them already. So it's not going to be a surprising, and they're all red state, so... They're not flying for some firing for some reason. It's really a them problem. Maybe they're too high to fire at. They're not going to fire. It's kind of stupid. No, they're firing. Now he dove down. Well, it's him. It's up to him if he wants to dive down. That's not a me problem. That's funny. That's how that's how he's designed to combat this threat. Well. No effect. Yeah, I feel that. Come on, phantoms. They're just not very effective. Oh, we got we hit one. Oh, that's going to hit the camera. Ah! Okay, so we got one hit. One we sent off mission, but the other ones uh, uh, we had no effect at all. It was just too hard to hit. Our aiming system just wasn't good enough, even though we saw the miles away. That'll do our seat. Uh, let's go and set up the next one. I think they have to get within a certain range, of like two miles, and then they will suddenly point their barrels up. Which is stupid, really. They should be aiming already. IFF is easy, you can clearly see that's a phantom. Oh, oh, tennis ball's up. Lots of tennis balls. Wow, that's a lot more lead per second than we had before. They're doing their change in altitude, change in speed to make the lead impossible. Well, not impossible, but hard. Good. Again, because they're changing their, their vector so much, these guys just can't get a bead on the... Oh, we've got, we've got one down. That's a J-79 on fire. Wow. 
Okay, it's the most effective so far again. Oh, there. I've got them exploding all around me now. Yep. Holy moly. They couldn't hit me, though. All four were alive, but one was uh, mission uh, mission abort, obviously, because he lost his stuff. And did RC get hit? Uh, I nope. don't think so. So, okay, that's very good. Uh, last test, we'll go to the th uh, 23. Is that we go? I can't see this being very effective. I mean, I don't know. Amount of good thing about the 23 mil, like the valid viewer said, you can get a lot of lead in the air at once. Less impact, yeah, but 23s are deadly. Chance of hit is high. Again, as soon as those phantoms see the AAA, they just dive down and change that vector. Which is quite clever. Well, yeah. Okay, up it goes. That's a lot of lead per second. No hits. They don't care about these. Uh, oh, yeah. Know. One hit. Oh, yeah. It's mission critical. I got hit, but I'm... Yep. Oh, we've blown the wing off on another one. This is oh, Now we can start to see why the, 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 the 23s were favoured over the 57s. There's another one. We're going to get them all down. Look at all that. Look at that. That's all for the Phantoms gone. The Phantoms are all gone. And yeah. that really was. It was better accuracy. And most importantly, it was the amount of bullets in a volume. You know, the chance of one doing some damage is so much higher than a small mag of 57 mils. It was really interesting. So you can see the, the I don't see any damage on me, but I definitely took a hit. I think that's everyone dead. Uh, it is. I mean, mission-wise, that they're all dead. One's fully dead, his wing fell off, and the others were, you know, damaged. They had to RTB. And it, maybe even RC was damaged. Let's have a look. Now, RC got uh, escaped. They didn't think you were very important, obviously, no. um, which I'll agree with. Uh, but uh, I'm happy with that. Uh, so, huh? at the end of that, we've got some weird results because the way that the uh, AI reacts. So it was the 23 mil was m medium in terms of damage at very low level, simply because the AI reacts to them and we didn't react to the 57s, and that's fine. You know, that's how DCS works for some reason. Uh, when they were up high, the bad the Air Force didn't react to the... They don't think they did, did they? Didn't react to the 23 mil. No, they, they just flew straight they through. They just don't see them as a threat for some reason. Flew straight through. And subsequently, the lead was easy. And they got hit. They all got taken out. So in terms of which is the most damaging, you're going to have to draw your own conclusions from that. And we could do this all day and we'll probably get pretty much the same results due to how the AI, AI works. The value of you is just want to see everything firing now just for the lols, RC. So out you go. Just for the lols. We have three regiments now. That is 24 of each type. That's 72 uh, so RC is going to get his little panties in a twist. Come on in, you come RC. Look at all, oh, look at my regiments. Regiments of Soviet attack. If that was me, I'll be shooting them a million miles away. Then again, they're probably smarter than me. Most people are. Start shooting too early and they'll just turn away. There you go. So you got to get that balance right. The little Bogachev code, the little Bogachev brains are going, meh, when should I fire? You're going to fire on what, you douchebags? There they go. Oh, 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 there's some AAA. There's some AAA. Something's got to hit him. The whole sky is full of tennis balls. Oh, I see. I'm <laughs> sorry for you right now. Oh, he's been oh, obliterated. He's, yeah. he's been eviscerated. They're after you now. Yeah. Oh, that's he. Oh, Jiminy Crickets. I'm in trouble. One of them has literally just bailed and got off. Oh, F this. I am not going through that. And you know, they're all gone. They've either been shot down or combat ineffective. And they've gone home. Did you look what happened to you? Did you lose your wings? Don't lose oh, your crashed. wings. Yeah, I lost your Absolutely wing. annihilated. So if they had a. Uh, that would have been what it was like in MIG, not MIG Alley, in um, the one, Flight of the Intruder. Yeah. And they had that power station or something they had to blow up. And they just had this alley of all <laughs> these 57 mic mics, dun, 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 firing at them. Amazing stuff. Right, anyway, we should round up now. Uh, the results are as you will uh, extrapolate from our uh, tests. Anything you want to add, RC? Yes. Bye.